Hi, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, welcome back. If you've been here before, mate, I couldn't think of a more amazing location to start this episode. I apologise, it's blowing a hoolie, but hey, top of the man, baby! Yeah, Glen Coman! Came up here Monday in the hunt for snow and powder to ride my snowboard, and boy, boy, did I find it. Bear with me a minute. Been up here for about four days now, just chilling in the Glen Coast Ski Resort, hanging out in the crib, riding a mountain every day, and it's been fantastic. Let's get through the crowd. Glen Coast Ski Resort's had a nice base of snow and a little sprinkling over the past couple of days, and today we just have pure blue sky. This is my last day snowboarding. Tomorrow I'm going to take a day off. Hang on a minute. Sneak bit. Woo yeah, a little bit of powder as well, you know. Nice. Real nice conditions today. Bit of ice. Here in there. Tomorrow, before I take a day off, I'm going to be heading round to Skyfall, the road where they made the move there. And also, plenty of waterfalls. Viewpoints to check out around here, so I'm gonna have a look at them as well. Bear with, there's a little kicker down here. Let's go. Oh, not much speed. Let's go. Oh, look at that. A little bit of air, nothing special. Hit a rock, didn't want to do that. Oh, yeah, yeah, baby, yeah. The buzz is good on the mountain today, you know. Everyone's loving life. Right, I am gonna ride this little bad boy all the way to the bottom. I'm gonna get the lift down. I'm gonna get myself some scram for the night and I'll catch you guys in tomorrow for a little bit of exploring around the Glencoe area. See you in a bit. Woo What a night's sleep, I think I slept for about 11 hours last night. Really needed it after three days of snowboarding. Just exhausted, but boom. Still in the Glencoe Ski Resort. I've got to tell you, this place is fantastic. The people, the facilities, the free parking that's available. Yeah, it's just mega. There's like hot showers available for a pound. There's toilets all night long. There's a little restaurant. And as I say, all the people around here are just fantastic. There's a real vibe and a real community of like, of course, snowboarders and skiers that are camping out doing it, but we're on a mission and we're running out of time. It's about half 11 already, you know, you know, and there's things we need to do today. So I'm going to sort the crib out quick style and we'll get on the road. Let's do this, mate. Look at the area we're going to be exploring. Legendary, man. Scotland's giving it big licks today. Let's go. Look at this, I've been up here four or five days now and I've just been sat in that car park. I can't wait to get exploring today. Look at the scenery. It's just magnificent. Such a transition from the summer when we were up here. Now there's all snow on the peaks. So good. Right, we're going to be hitting, even though I'm carrying a mad injury, which I'll tell you about later, the Devil's Staircase, I think it's called. Uh, it's about a three and a half, four mile hike, so it should take us a couple of hours, but it gets up and we should get some nice looking views coming down. Uh, I've got to get some supplies first. Oh, I need to find a co-op. I need milk and a few other little bits. I don't know where there is one. Sat there was playing funny buggers. He's telling me the nearest co-op's about 15 miles away. Oh, to Scotland. Yeah. First up, the flag. Oh, I need these. 
Check it out. We're in Scotland, baby. Square sausages. Oh, that's all you need, man. Life's, life's just set now, man. Right, let's get on the road. Oh, I'll tell you what, this is quite a nice little drive around. I'm enjoying this. Having the views of all the mountains and popping into Glencoe for supplies. It's pretty cool. It's been a good trip so far, just doing my thing and hanging out in an area. Don't normally do that on these trips. It's normally go, go, go. So it's a little bit of a different one. It's been great. Hopefully today the views we get from this devil staircase should be pretty nice. It's not too much of a massive hike. And I'm quite happy about it. I pulled a tendon or a muscle in the back of my knee. I don't know what it is. It's pretty painful. And I'm struggling to straighten my legs. So I can bend my knees. So I figured I can walk and I'll be able to snowboard. So it's only a flesh wound, you know. The joys of doing winter sports when you're not a teenager that's made of elastic. <laughs> you know what I mean? We ain't getting no younger. <laughs> right, I'll meet you on the flip side when we get to this spot. Oh man, I was hoping to just like do a transition where I'm getting out of the car, but check out the parking. It's covered in ice, mate. This looks well dodgy. I'm not sure I want to go down here. I don't think I'll get out. Oh mate, I don't know. I don't know what to do here. This is gnarly, dude. I can't get in there. That's just pure ice, mate. Oh man, there's nowhere to park. Fuck, lipping it. Wait, here, I'm in, I'm in. There's a spot-ish, not really. I'm gonna hop it on the curb, I think. Yeah, man, we're in, we're in. Oh my days, this is gnarly, dude. It's frozen everywhere, isn't it? Snow, ice, not good. Right, I'm gonna get my shoes nicked together. We're going on the trail, the mission starts. Oh my days. Oh, close up, you know. Nightmare. Oh, mate. Head of the trail, a little funky bridge. And noting I've pulled my leg, I've pulled my tendon or a muscle or something. I mean, quite bad pain. And the trail, uh, it's covered in freaking ice, mate. And this is the thing around here. I was wanting to, like, hike that mountain or hike that mountain or something, you know what I mean? But you need the equipment. And you need to know what you're doing with it. You need crampons and you need ice axes around here at this time of year. And it's no joke. We sat there last night in that Glencoe place and there was a mountain rescue going on on that mountain. A uh, helicopter flew in, was hovering around for about 45 minutes, flew off, then came back again. And they were on the side of the mountain as well, you know. So, yeah, it's... Uh, it's not a place you want to be hiking if you're inexperienced, let's put it that way. But it does make me think and wonder, I want to climb some of them mountains in winter. And this could be the year, mate. Get me mountain leaders qualification and then push towards something a little bit more extreme. Not ice climbing or anything like that, you know what I mean? But knowing what you're doing in these sort of environments and knowing what to do with the equipment. Be good, man. But yeah, that's for later on in the year, for now. Jeez, I really don't want to slip and pull my leg anymore. Oh man. Da -da. <laughs> uh, the trail, uh, I'm pointing it on the screen right now. Yeah, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that, not even attempt it. But it does go via the Devil's Staircase. And at the minute, yeah, I see what it's saying. It is a little short one, 3.2 miles. Should. Ah, 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 ooh, kneecap. Take about an hour and a half. Um, it's probably gonna take about three hours. Not there, it's quarter to one. Uh, I kinda wanna be back at the crib for at least three o'clock. So we've got an hour to drive down the Skyfall Road and find the car camping spot for tonight. It looks a pucker spot. I hope it's got a phone signal. But it is lot, right down the end of the road and right next to a lock. It's supposed to be spectacular, but yeah. This trail, man, it's gonna cut up. Cuts the left, ooh, cuts the left. I'm slipping, man. <sighs> we should get some nice views. Wow, I'm already getting some nice views. Nice. <sighs> I just hope this ice don't last the whole trail, man. It's gonna be a nightmare. Let's keep moving. Oh, I'll tell you what, it might only be a sneaky little bumble, but 
It's not a bad one, is it? Oh, my days. Look at these bad boys. I mean, some of these look like proper mountains. And I have seen some that look like proper mountains. And that's the thing, isn't it? You know, the conditions up here are proper extreme. Like I was saying, you know, some of these mountains are like avalanche prone and stuff, especially with the winds that lick it up and create those like overhangs. Some of these mountains are gagging for an avalanche. You can see why all the famous climbers or a lot of the famous UK climbers used to come up here. All the old school ones, Chris Bonington and I guess all the new ones now, eh? Yeah, the conditions are Himalayan. <laughs> Bloody stunning. Wow, what a day. This is nice. It's warming the leg up as well. The tweaks a bit slipping, but too bad, man. I want to get it back in action. I think that's the thing with it, like I am with the back a few months ago. You just got to push through the pain. And I'm hoping it's not anything extreme. It's probably just a tweak and uh, walking on it will help. Just get it back into shape quicker, I think. Rehabilitation on a nasty level, just get back now! <laughs> I need it for riding, man. I want to ride either Monday or Tuesday down in Ben Nevis range. I've heard good reports. Got a gondola that goes up there, but it's all dependent on the weather. We have to wait and see. <laughs> Check out these two dudes. City boys. Oh, I'm not taking anything away from them. Fair play for getting up here, you know what I mean? But they're, uh, they're a little bit out of the depth. Obviously don't do much hiking. They're both in normal trainers and they're trying to walk on the icy path. We just said to him like, walk on the side where there's no ice. He's like, oh yeah, we haven't thought of that. Just assume they were Scottish, which they are. And you assume because they're Scottish, they just, they know about this area or how to be outdoors. Because most Scottish people do, you're awesome. You, you just, you live it man, like the Welsh. You're in the elements where you live and you enjoy it day in. Weekend in, weekend out, it's wicked man. It's uh, it's not quite the same in England, I've got to say. A lot of us stay at home and watch TV, you know what I mean? But out here, you guys are enjoying it man, but uh, yeah, they must be from like Glasgow or Edinburgh or something. One of their first times up here. Bless them man, fair play. Plenty of snow on the trail, nah, as well as the ice. It's pretty mad, isn't it? A couple of weeks ago, we were in Wales or nothing. Just chilling with normal weather, a little bit of wind there, a bit of rain, and now here we are. I mean, it's not deep, deep snow, which is good, but it's, uh, it's a nice covering. And up on the mountains where the ski resorts are, or at least Glencoe, they've got a nice covering up there to ride, so yeah, it's pretty cool, man. Whew. Proper winter scene, eh? I'll sweat my chunger off as well. <laughs> it must be about two, three degrees today, it feels quite warm. Uh. I've been putting up with minus eights and minus tens in the night with no heating. I've got that little heater with me, the desktop thing. I don't want to plug it in. It sucks the juice too much on the power units. Maybe I'll try it tonight because I can recharge my power unit at Glencoe, which is where I'm heading tomorrow actually. I've got a day's editing to do tomorrow, so I figured I'd haul back up at the Glencoe ski resort with all its facilities. So maybe I can treat myself to a bit of warmth tonight. I'd love to see. I'm not being funny, that is the good thing about that EcoFlow, man. With that super fast charging, 40 minutes. It was on 20% and within 40 minutes it was on 99, so yeah. My Blue 80 don't do it. That little one I gave away did, but yeah, give it away. <laughs> ah, I think we're near there. I was gonna say at the top, there's like a bit that goes up and then it cuts left. I think I'm about to cut left. Damn it, it looks like it's going up. Jeez, I thought it was gonna be a flat plateau. Oh, days. This is a good height though, I'm loving it. It feels like I'm up in a mountain. I mean, no, I am, but I'm not on a big peak, am I? But yeah, it feels like a little mountain trail. Feels wicked, mate. Just about the level what we need without the equipment, you know what I mean? Just about copable. Not many people around either. Seen a few. <sighs> Mostly got it to myself again. Wicked, mate. Loving life. Bing! Do not want to be going off trail today, you know, and uh, it's going up, bugger. Oh crap. This is looking like this is where it's going to get real. Damn. Uh, not seeing many footprints. Just saying. None. Meh. Alright, let's see how it goes. 
Trail up telling me to go this way, you know. Oh, mama. Oh, yeah. Mate, this is extreme now, isn't it? Let's check the power. Okay, we're good. Keep going. Uh, there's no trails to follow up here. I don't know what I'm doing. I got a red line. I'm all good. But uh, I think I'm about two thirds of the way along this last section, so. Or maybe a third of the way. Keep going. We'll get there. There are some pretty deep sections of snow, though. Check that out. Look at that. That's like proper ankle deep, mate. We ain't messing today, you know. Shit. Real deep. <sighs> There's no trail, dude. Well, we're not quite at the top. I'm assuming it's that misty bit in the cloud. There's no trail up here at all. It's not too bad, but you keep getting like ankle and almost deep in snow here and there. It's, uh, it's hard work. And I think, and this is not me being defeatist, we could push on for that, no problem. But the thing is, I've got other things I want to do today. I really want to get down that Skyfall Road and show you guys it and check out this car camping spot and get there with light. So it's two o'clock now. It's took me an hour and a quarter to get this far. We're looking at another hour there and back to this point. So we ain't gonna have enough time with the light. So we stunning, sick ass views. And I want to come back and finish this one another time. I'm gonna slowly start meandering back down. I hope we can find the trail. And if there's no eventualities, I'll catch you back at the crib, man. What a trail, man. What a day. It's a little blurry, but it's freaking beautiful, man. Alone in the mountains. Nobody's on this trail. There's no footprints anywhere, man. Only mine. Pretty awesome. Catch you in a bit. proper drain that trail absolutely battered me it was just relentless like with the ice you just you know what it's like trying to walk on ice it's hard work and it was all the way up and all the way back down but good news you're back online we're you're back on online route. and we're on the you fastest reach route your destination by 1542 and we should reach the destination by 1542 <laughs> like there we're back in good time it's three o'clock and it's probably only going to take me about an hour to get there it's a long 40 mile single track road, so it should be purely scenic. Let's get down there, mate. The Skyfall Road. I missed this when I came up here last time, so this is the reason I want to get down there. And the spot for tonight down there looks absolutely pucker. Let's go. Same time, Glen Ative, I think it's called. I probably not just crippled the, uh, crippled the name there. Single track road. Right. Here we go. Oh my god, he's done the right inviting. Overtaking points all the way along it. I have seen other vehicles coming down here today, a couple of vans early on, so yeah, fingers crossed. As long as it's been gritted and there's no snow and ice from it, we're all good. And I tell you what, freaking views are stunning already, mate. Woo See if we can find the actual spot. Apparently, it's the third turn. I don't know. Let's see. From what I'm hearing, this is a pretty nasty road, but here's the thing. Been hearing that from Scottish people, and I. And the single track roads in Scotland are pretty good. And the people that have been telling me they haven't drove Dartmoor or Wales or places like that, you know what I mean? So I've got my hopes up. But this is a pretty good pretty good road. They did say there's a few potholes, but hey, nothing new there, you know. Right, first corner on my days. Two more to go, and we're on the Scarfall point. I'm excited. Somebody said the third corner. There's bloody hundreds of corners. I don't know, does that constitute a corner? Are you talking like a small corner, just a little nip of a turn? Or are you talking a major flow to the left or right as a turn? Uh, I don't know. It's there. No, maybe it's around the corner. <laughs> we'll have a look. I'm saying that's it. That's the third corner, baby. That's a pretty 
dang sick view, eh? Ah, oh, look at this huge micro caravan. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Wecker. Bit of an Uber shape, eh? What's that? Ergonomic. Makes it go faster down hills or something. I don't get that. A bit weird, wasn't it? Why would you have a low roof on the back of your car? I don't know. Just saying. Also, I'm just saying. These roads are alright. It's a pretty cool, one. But if it had been Wales, it'd be like six foot edge roads at the side of it and bloody potholes all over it and grass growing in the middle of it. This looks like it's been tarmac last week. That could be the shark, couldn't it? Possibly. But who cares? It's absolutely stunning down here the whole way. These mountains with snow on top of them. Something special, eh? Looks amazing. Holy crud. Look at that. Beast. Honestly, this whole area with this massive river running down the side of it. All these mountainous, really high peaks. Just sheer rock. The whole area just feels like nature in full effect, mate. For this dude parked up for the night with his dogs, man. Seriously, it's just overwhelming. Fantastic. So lucky to be driving down there. I think we're getting closer. There's supposed to be loads of deer and stag around here. Guy was saying, like, they come on the road quite often, so let's keep our fingers crossed we don't run any down. Oi. Well, no deer to report as yet, but we're entering the Glenatee Forest. What? There's little spits of houses around here. Oh my days. Miles from anywhere, you know. Getting closer though, about two and a half more. Oh no. Holy. Oh my days. Oh my days. I was like, yeah, I'm going off the edge here, bro. I'm going off the edge here, bro. Wow, that was pretty intense. Look at that. Looks like someone's done it before, man. Oh, it must have been a patch of ice. Whew. That's intense. Yeah, I'm panting now. <laughs> Damn, two miles to go. Let's hope we make it in one piece. Holy crap. Tell you what, I hope it's something rocking around in the back of the car because if it's not, I think I've got a bit of a knock on the rear suspension. I just keep hearing it, dunk, 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 dunk. You know what I mean? Making that weird noise. Could be wrong, I know nothing can mechanics, but yeah, it sounds like it's rocking in the back end. <sighs> got a long way to go through Scotland yet. Not on there. I don't want to say it either. I don't want to think it's the end of this outfit. Do you know what I mean? Keep thinking about what crib I'm going to get next as well. I haven't been checking the messages and that, but uh, I'm feeling for Galaxy, man. Might go towards something like that. Similar to this, but just a bit bigger, you know? And maybe go a diesel. I won't go an automatic. I'd like gears, but yeah, if I go a diesel, at least you know it's going to be good for loads of miles and might be able to hook a diesel heater up to the actual tank at some point rather than messing about with a separate tank for one, so, yeah. Let's worry about getting down there for now. It's getting a bit gnarly. And up. Man, I've had to stop. I've got to show you that building. Look, that building there, and I'm assuming that as well, they're boffies. Like, mountain boffies that you can stay in. Do you know what I mean? I think that one's one as well, but... There was one back up the way, and some two guys, like, stood outside of it, and, uh, yeah, with their car. I guess that was a boffy as well. Oh, that's awesome, man. Scotland, man. They just provide facilities for outdoor lifestyle. Eh? It's a legend, mate. I love it. Talking of which, we're at the spot. This is it. All right. I kind of figured... Whoa, mama. Yeah, I kind of figured there'd be other people here. Um, let's see if we can find a little spot for the night. All right. Let's check out the area. That was a long drive. Oh. I'm still in pain from the last three days of snowboarding, man. Oh, aching to turn around and stuff. All right, let's have a look. Mate, I've, I've got to say it. We found some spots, mate. But this, this, oh my days, man. This is spectacular. Absolutely stunning. I'm surrounded by mountainous peaks. Humongo lock. And the best of it is, I've got a sneaky feeling. I'm gonna have it all to myself tonight. It's gonna to be a bit nippy, but it's gonna be bloody nice. I think there's a phone signal as well. There was a radio signal 
on the phone. So that's internet as it was coming in. So it bodes well, mate. It really does. Oh, right, here's the beach. I mean, I said beach. It was like a loose terminology. It's on the side of a lock, innit? It's not like down by the Mediterranean or anything, but... Because some guy was saying to me, he's like, yeah, yeah, take some wood down there and have a fire at night. He says, this is a place to have it. It seems like a big thing in Scotland. Like, quite people enjoy having, like, open wildfires. And they seem a bit more responsible about it as well. Although, I was saying, some of these trees are ancient trees around here, and he's seen people cutting them down, so... He says you get people coming up from Glasgow on weekends in the summertime and just blitzing the area and leaving crap everywhere. So, you know, ups and downs, swings and roundabouts, but... Some dude being well cagey around my car, man. A bit random. <sighs> Who cares? <laughs> what the? The scenery is just... There's no words, is there? You know what I mean? It's just mad. Right, I'm going to enjoy it for a little bit. And then I think I'm going to think about what I'm going to cook for the night. We've got choices tonight. Although I've got a bit of a taste for one of them, so it might not be a choice. But yeah, welcome to Glen Ateev. Do you remember what the lock's called? I'll try and put it on the screen. I guess it's called Lock Ateev. I don't know. I hope I'm saying it right. I'll tell you what. Freaking hey dude, I just realised it's covered in ice, no way. It really is cold man. It's nuts. <laughs> I was making my coffee last night and I was pouring the water and there was like shears of ice in the water, just loads of it, half of it was ice, half of it was water. It takes twice as long to freaking boil man. It really is nipper, but yeah, dealing with it, you know. Might even treat myself, like I said earlier. Get the eater out tonight. Maybe. Game on with the munchies then. I've got to be honest, I've still got quite a lot left. I ate in the restaurant one night, little scampi and chips, that was good. And then I've just been eating bits. I had one main meal that I think I did on the last episode. And that's about it. Right, here's the thing. Fries. They were frozen fries <sighs> about six days ago. They look alright actually. I'm going to I'm gonna risk it. I'm going to use them. And, oh yes, keeping it simple. Gammon steak for the night. Hopefully all this stuff should be good. Look, why is that dripping jizz? What? Where's the jizz from? Maybe the bacon. That sucks. I might have to dry everything off. Bear with. Thing is, I've not had that fridge turned on for like four days. I've not needed to. It's just been so cold that... The temperature in the fridge has been lower than what I normally run it at. It's been like two degrees in there, and yeah, I normally run it at like four degrees. So, yeah, all this meat and stuff should be pretty pucker and still okay to eat, to be fair. It's been there blooming frozen for days. Ah! Should not have done that. I can definitely taste meat, Jess. And that's raw. Yeah. All right. Let's do this one on the ridge. I'm feeling brave. Yeah! Let's get jizzy with it. All right. <laughs> the old Fresh Prince, man. I used to love that TV series. Fresh Prince of Bel Air, man. The old Will Smith. He was always better than that than anything else. I don't know. Has he made a good movie? Oh, that one after the end of the world. Whatever that was called. That was a pretty good movie. I'll give him that. You know, the one where he's on his own and he starts dating those uh, mannequins in the video shop. Yeah, a bit of a nutter. <laughs> right. Gammon steak. Cheers on me. Oh, yeah. Just the one, I think, for tonight's proceedings. Oh, yeah, baby. And, I don't know. It's not that cold tonight. Look, check it out. Gas is running nice, mate. I guess it's about not even zero degrees. Stuff's thawing around, so, you know. All right. Do you think I'm a steak? Oh yeah, figure to cook that and then cook them after. In there, it should only take about four or five minutes of putting enough oil in. We'll see. Sneaky little tactical maneuver here. Get this bad boy out. Not flipping the ridge. Flipping the actual joint of meat that split. Oh, mama, why did do that? Anyway, yeah, that's me tactic. Then I don't get the juice all dripping out the blooming ridge monker. 
It's a bit annoying that. Right, I'm not going to lie. Ah, oh, this thing's trevering on the borderline, man, with his passport in the hand, screaming, "Get me out of here!" Yeah, it's it's really well done. I'm not going to lie. This is cooked. You see, now I'm not going to get food poisoning. No chance of that. There's hardly any food left. No, you should have done both them gammon steaks, man. It's shriveled up to next to nothingness. Ah, sucky bus. Ah, those things get so hot so quick. Oh, yowza. And in with the fries. That'll do it, won't it? It's enough. Golden Bennett, they feel a bit weird, man. You just, we'll cook them well. They'll be alright. Oh, man. Sweat me chunger off. I need an air vent in here or the next crib, man. Just to let the light, like, sometimes let the heat out. I mean, it's zero degrees now, outside at least, and I want to open the door, but oh, I've got a new, I've got a new body warmer. Honestly, this thing's so fat. It's a burger house. Check this out. One of you guys came up to see me the other night, drove up from Fort William to where I was in Glencoe, and yeah, come up to meet me in and dropped a load of stuff off. Honestly, can't thank you enough. Absolutely fantastic. Waterproof trousers at last. I should have worn them today, to be honest, but the crib's in such chaos. It's all piled in the front seat and I just haven't had a time to, to get it out and decide which one's which and what I'm using next and such. But yeah, there must be about three pairs of trousers, a top, there's some other bits, a cooker. Can't thank you enough. You've you really sorted me out, guys. Absolutely bless you. And yeah, this Burghouse body warmer. You're right, mate. It's a good one. It really is a good one. It's thick and it's fat. It's like one of them puffy ones, man. I've never had one before. The other one's good as well. That's like a fisherman's one. And that's quite puffy, but wow, these are even more puffy. It's like, yeah, it's pretty good. I'm stoked. I'm pretty sure them fries are burning now as well. I've just got a feeling that they're not going to take long to go from not cooked to absolutely burnt. I don't know. Yowza! Oh, they're all stuck together. Ah, freaking hey, they're hot, mate. Wow, they're hot. Yeah. A lot of smoke coming off that. Oh, crikey. Oh, no, 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 no. I knew I could smell burning. Crap. Ha, ha, I blow the up. Yeah, they're cool, damn it. I was sorting the beans out, man. Oh, black bits on your bloody chips. No one likes that. God darn it. Let me see at the plate, there's a first. Right, trying not to spend these bloody beans. Oh, where's me wooden spoon? Quick, oh, so smoky in here. Oof. Just gonna say it, those high standards I was setting for 2023. Yeah, they may be slipping a little bit with this one. I'm just saying. At least they're cooked. Mm. They have got that really well cooked flavour to them though. Can't deny that. Yeah. <laughs> Beans are ready. It looks like freaking molten lava. Hang on a minute, we're on a slope. I don't want it going on the wrong side of the plate. Game on. Damn, I was really lucky. I just turned the plate round. Hey, well, you know, since I don't like beans, I'll bug it up there, eh? But at least it's food, and it's gonna feed me better. I've not had a proper meal for a couple of days, so it's just been bits. But that's gonna be quite nice. Ish, even with the black chips. But yeah, for now, I'm gonna eat that up and get a bloody early night. There's no phone signal whatsoever. I've got two more things on my phone that I've never watched, so yeah, that might do me for about an hour. And then, yeah, early night. <laughs> or I'll catch you guys in the morning next to this amazing lot. Not got it to myself. That van that was here before, that's still here. And I've got a big motor home that's pulled up next to me, so yeah, it's all good. Everybody's quiet. It's just a chilling night. In a way, that's a good thing, isn't it? Not got to worry about anyone rolling up on you, but then again, it's Scotland in the middle of nowhere, so... Should be right, but I'll catch you guys in the morning. Morning, nightmare. Slept about 11 hours last night, and the reason being, I was gonna get up early, but it's all I could hear was the rainstorm going on around me. This does not bode well for snowboarding for the next few days. I don't know how it's gonna affect the conditions on the mountain. Let me show you the weather. 
it's not heavy heavy rain but it's seriously cloudy gray and yeah it's coming down constant all morning hey but it is what it is it's scotland it's uk it's the weather you just got to deal with it so that's what i'm gonna do instead of snowboarding i think over the next few days i'm gonna do some exploring i'm gonna head down to fort william stelly falls and a few other spots that i've been told are really worth checking out and then take it from there you know this trip initially started with wanting to come up here and find as much snow as possible but we have to be realistic if the weather's going to play ball great and if not we go misadventurizing and check out some spots that we've never seen before whatever happens we're on the road we're car camping and we're in scotland as for now i really think this is going to be the best point to end the episode i really hope you've enjoyed it if you did all the good stuff you know you know hit the like button subscribe to keep up with the series and definitely hit me in the comments and as always take it easy enjoy the camp mate we're in scotland and stay stealth there all right